Hello, this is Michael King here, and this is August the 24th, 2010. And tonight's talk is Thyroid Solutions and Alternatives, How to Build a Strong, Fully Productive, and Balanced Thyroid. Now, clearly, in order to affect balance in one endocrine gland, such as the thyroid, it's necessary to address any imbalances in any and all other endocrine glands, primarily because they are so intertwined in their functioning. The hormones are uh, swinging back and forth in the bloodstream from one endocrine gland to another, from the pineal to the pituitary gland, uh, to the adrenal glands, to the thyroid, to the thymus, to the parathyroids. You see, I'm just saying that there, there's this extremely comprehensive network of hormonal messenger chemicals being passed back and forth that assist in the regulation and balancing of hormone production throughout the body. So in order to address a single imbalance, clearly it has to be accomplished by looking at the big picture. We've got to see that there, has, there is a connection between what we eat, the toxins in our environment that we're taking into our bodies, that we're breathing in, that we're consuming through either our foods or uh, inadvertently through our skin, um, the dietary combinations of foods, the uh, presence or absence of certain nutrients or minerals, all of these play a role in the health of the body and its ability naturally, intrinsically, in order to regulate its own homeostasis, meaning internal state of balance. The body is perfectly capable of healing itself. There's no question about that. The question is, you know, can it do so without our involvement or unless we are actually you know not toxifying the body unless we're actually giving it the nourishment that it needs in order to uh, create its own medicines and heal itself so clearly there has been an unprecedented rise in hormonal imbalances throughout the last several decades and it seems to be on the increase except in a very small circle of people who are finding the secrets and what we're talked about today are some of those secrets we'll be discussing what are the causes and what are the simplest measures that a person can take in order to give the body what it needs to restore balance intrinsically thyroid imbalances whether they be high or low, have very similar um, causations. And yes, they've increased over the last several decades, but so have the levels of toxicity and the refined foods and the uh, uh, mineral deficiencies in our soils, etc. So it's of no surprise that our endocrine glands would be malfunctioning, mainly because they require certain nutrient compounds in order to manufacture the hormones that they produce. Minerals are the primary foundation of those nutrient compounds required 